Hi, my name is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Food Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who is a retired high school English teacher and a screenplay writer and an actor. Let's see how I can help his thick, ingrown toenails. Okay, we have Ray here. Hi, Ray. How you doing? Oh, hi, Dr. Kim. How you been? Uh, I, I've been well, Dr. Kim. How okay, you? very good. So we're gonna cut your nails today. And I was just telling Ray that I got this new machine that's amazing, right? So we need to show everybody how great the machine is. So we have, we're gonna use the machine, okay, Ray? Okay. Okay, so what's been going on with you, Ray? Uh, Everything good? Pretty, same old, same old. Same old, huh? Keep healthy? Yeah, stay healthy and... Uh, uh -huh. And doing some writing and playing some music and oh, really? walking my dog. Oh, you write? What do you write? Uh, screenplays. Oh, and really? Actually, and and uh, stage plays. Actually, uh, I should be on it. More stage play. I, I, I've got more of a way with words than I have visual. Is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Yeah, and, you know. I can't talk, but I can't write. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, when you write a stage play, you can just fill that paper up with words. Oh, uh, wow. Screenplay, how do they say that? Oh, they want to see more white than black, more space than words. Is that right? Because they want the, the camera to do it. Wow, so I didn't know you were, you were stage work, um, like a yeah. play writer, right? Yeah, well, I'm not actually, I, I've done it, I do it, hmm. but I'm, uh, it's, 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 it's more of a, uh, uh, I don't know, it's more Hobby? of a, Venting the self-expression, a way of uh, of integrating experiences in my life and some of the bad ones oh. uh, out, you know, with words. I uh, basically an actor, really. But uh, oh, you are. Yeah, that's where the good looks come from. <laughs> Whatever he's getting paid, we want to make sure he gets paid double then. Wow. So, uh, so what? Oh, sorry. So what kind of acting were you doing? Um. Like on the stage. Um, I like did a play? lot on the stage, and I, like a play? I have about 23 different independent films out there. That you were in it? Uh -huh. Oh, really? I did a film with Ed Asner on uh, autism. Is that right? Wow. You, you, were you the main actor? No, no. no. You're a supporting actor? Supporting, always supporting. Wow. And, uh, um, with your good looks, you, didn't, you never got the... Yeah, the guy's Main action? better. I did a couple of films with James Franco, and he's better looking than me, so. Really? I, I don't agree with that, but. Oh, good, good. Mm. I'm liking it better all the time. Dr. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and then we, so how about the other type of uh, acting? Were you doing the? I've, I've done some Shakespeare, but I. Uh, oh, Shakespeare? Yeah. Well, you, you're, you're like a singer too, or? Well, I, I've done, I did a uh, thing on the lawn at Cal State Northridge. I'm Richard III, and I, uh, uh, for uh, a victory playhouse in the valley, I did. I played a, a princess who was in Romeo and Juliet. Some things. It uh, really. What What did you play? Uh, the the prince, the one that you know, tells the family is that are feuding that you know, and on pain of death that you know. So is that the main great. character? I don't know. No, I wasn't the main actor. Romeo and Juliet. Oh yeah, of course, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. But you weren't the Romeo. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you weren't the Romeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. What? What else? So you're a musician too? Are you? No, you write I'm, or I'm you sing? I'm definitely not a musician. Uh -huh. I, at, at our house, we have a uh, a guitar, a mandolin, a banjo, and, and a keyboard. And the thing I can tell you about music, it's easier to collect instruments than it is to play. <laughs> I, I, I just. Uh, Really, you're right. Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm I, definitely I, not I, a musician. I would not ever want. Yeah, to well. Hear me. I, even though, you know, in your I, fantasies, you do that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I try to play like um, some instrument. Just I just didn't have the patience to learn all that. I wish yeah, I did. The same here. I I would get um. I would get away into something, uh -huh. and um. Find out that, like I. There was a song I was really learning how to play. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, a horse with no name, and I stopped 
after a while because I guess it's the old uptight English teacher in me is that uh, there's a line in it that, uh, that just didn't go grammar yeah and I just but it was a dumb thing to do on my part just <laughs> But, uh, it was just music, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can be wrong the, grammatically, you know? And the songs I'd like to learn how to play, mm -hmm. I don't I don't have that kind of talent, like, you know, Bob Dylan's all along the Watchtower. Mm -hmm. And that's so complicated. Yeah, wow. So, that's great. Well, I, I, I tried to play uh, saxophone one time, so I had, a, I had a tutor come to my house, and I tried to learn it, and I just found out that I don't have the quite the the breath you know you have to have the you have to, you have to be able to breathe like really well and, and something else you probably have to have because i blew on a clarinet once uh -huh. worst experience and i like you know that reed that's in there uh -huh. i thought i was going to tear the tongue right out of my mouth oh is that right yeah so, yeah i just I, mean, I don't know what i did or how i blew on it but it was like hi it's me again hope you've been enjoying this video so far if you have leave the word thick Ingram nails in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But how do those guys uh, just improvise and just, you know, it's all done with the breath? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. It's very tough. So here's my new machine that I'm going to get, get rid of all this thick nails, okay? So that's what we're going to work on. So what are you working on now? Are you working on any writing right now? Yeah, it, I, I don't know if it's funny about uh, a huge, uh, 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 elderly, you know, by, uh, your, your kids, right? Yeah, kind of like an article, you know, yeah. Oh, really? It's not too bad, it's not too good. It's too often done for my face, but it's done. Really? What are you trying to publish it at? I don't know. Are you just writing it? Yeah. Yeah, it's your, it's your expression. Yeah. I it's it's your... It yeah, it is, it is your expression of your, you know, inner being through yeah. writing. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, it's, an, it's an art. Right? It's kind of yeah. an art. The, uh, I'm, I'm not one of those writers that, uh, that you can say has a body of work. It has an agent, has a... Uh, Particular magazines he submits to and so forth. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, that's great. So, do you write like all the time, or is it like once yeah, in a while yeah, you do? I'll tell you a story about that. It was, it was funny to me that I realized that I had uh, a lot of creative writing classes. Oh, you did? Uh, oh. Were you a teacher? Huh? Yeah. Were you a teacher? Oh, you were a teacher. English, English and Chinese. Oh, okay. And we're like at what level? Like a... Uh, high school. school. Oh, high school. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then I realized one day, I went to the, uh, I went to the writing that we had at our house. Uh-huh. It was diaries from years that we had done. Uh-huh. And first of all, that, uh, I didn't know what to do with it. Uh-huh. And she was very lovely in her mind. Oh, really? And actually, I might say she's a writer in the family, but she writes. That question you asked me about who I got in the family. I feel like I should have been, but I don't. No, I see. I'm not disciplined enough. Oh, I see. You have to spend a lot of time sitting around. Yeah. Thinking, right? And then it's. Yeah. 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 I don't write that way. I can't write that way myself. It's like always, you always teach uh, getting writing students to uh, oh, really? go all the way. Go all right. the way to the end. You can go back and do the correction. Uh -huh. and I'm still going to type that way. I don't do it. I do the corrections as I go. Oh, as you're you going through it? Yeah, I'm still bad to do it that way. So yeah. I, do it. I just can't help it. I'm, I'm, I guess having quite grammar and stuff on it. It bothers you if you don't correct as you go. Yeah, yeah. the bad thing about it is what happens is that you're into the mastery of it then rather than the mystery and what's going on. Oh, I see. It's my own creativity when I do that. Yeah. Well, it's a different way of doing things, you know? Some people... I kind of like that, too. I kind of like correcting as I go. And it kind of gets in the way, too, you know? You kind of sometimes lose a, 
creativity as you're just too focused on the mechanics of it, you know? Oh, really? You were on stage, you said? Yeah. Oh. Then, uh, you have to take Valium? <laughs> you know, you take Valium to be there, but how is he going to feel anything when you're on a trampoline? Yeah, exactly. But some people just can't do it, you know? They, they need they need some kind of some kind of help. Right? Yeah, they get too the, nervous? The, the thing is, the help has to come in the way. The help needs to be in the way. Because uh, most of the good actors I know are in my class. Uh -huh. so you can always call you the drama teacher and you have to just use it under the most stage class. Oh really? <laughs> you know, a lot of stage class, you gotta work through it. You gotta work through it, huh? Yeah. You know, the thing is you won't be able to repeat it unless you do drug test Yeah, you're right. You, you, you depend on that. You're right. I know I had to I had to overcome my stage fright myself. I got a lot better at it, but you know, you always have a little bar fry, you know? Really you some... me. Oh, really? Oh, uh, I really? Yeah, but I, uh, you just have to use it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, Ray. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you for allowing us yeah, to film you today. You but me the... to, to vent all that uh, <laughs> stuff. That, uh... Yeah, creative energy, creative energy. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? How do you like the new machine? I like it. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much, Ray. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see in this video, some thick nails can cause ingrown nail, which can be extremely painful. As you can see in this conversation with this artist and an actor, we need to express our inner creativity through whichever we enjoy the most, whether it's music, whether it's writing, or anything else for that matter. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.